I'm currently on my way to work, but it's story time because I am pretty sure I wiped out my entire external hard drive. And that means I wiped out not only my novel, but all the book covers I've designed. Um, the files for the book launch planner, all the marketing materials, all the material I use for my YouTube channel that's just stupid things like buttons and stickers and like my content strategy stuff, all that gone. Um, over a thousand photos I took while I was in Costa Rica for a photography program and that seemed like a pretty big deal to me because I was really proud of those photos and there's only like 70, 70 of them I posted on Facebook which is good so those are at least there but the other hundreds are gone. All in all there's a lot of stuff gone. There's another book I was working on that my patrons know about um, so if you're my patron those files are gone. I'm driving while I talk because this is the type of stress I'm under. I don't have time to just sit in front of a camera. But I also feel like this would be great therapy time. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I'm done crying, but let me explain what happened. So last night I was working on a bunch of different stuff. I can't even remember now. Um, I think I was working on stuff for the book launch planner or I was wrapping that stuff up. I had just gotten off of the phone with like an extended family member of mine who's also a lawyer. They were helping me with some research for my fourth novel. Um, he was explaining how like trials work and all that because I wanted to be accurate in my novel. And basically Phil was in the kitchen making dinner. He was like, Mandy, dinner's ready. So I was like, okay. So I went to get up and I put my phone down on my external hard drive. And I don't think I've ever done that before. I just have, like I wasn't meaning to put it on the hard drive. I just put it where I saw a place to put it. And unfortunately, when I put my phone on the external hard drive, it started going And I was like, oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So I instantly took it off, and as it was making that sound, I heard my computer go, which usually means um, the external hard drive disconnected when it wasn't supposed to. Like, it, I didn't hit the eject button. Like, it, the cord just got pulled out, um, even though the cord was plugged in. So the external hard drive disappeared from my computer, and I was like, well. I'm hungry, I'm not gonna think about that right now. So I just went to go eat dinner, and I told Phil that um, something bad might have really happened. And when I went back to check things out, cause I was like, maybe it just needs time, like it'll show back up again. It did not show back up in my computer, and it kept making that sound. I don't know how else to, I'm sure it looked like an idiot, but that's the sound it was making. And I was like, oh, what's going on? Um, so that's when the panic started to happen. That's when uh, tears were starting to form. Like I was thinking about how bad this could be. The fact that I just might have lost everything. Uh, I wanted to publish my book this year, but when you're starting from square one, it makes things a little bit more complicated. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, no, I am the idiot that does not back things up. Um, after today I will, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, that's all gone. Um, and I took it to Best Buy to talk to the Geek Squad people, cause I was like, hey, they'll know what to do. And they basically told me, like, it's on, it's running, but it's not connecting. Um, and they don't know what to do, like they can't do anything. And they said that if I wanted to recover the files on there, it could cost anywhere from $200 to $800 and up. Um, and that it would take at least two months and that 
that might not even work. Like, I could pay all that money and get nothing out of it. Um, so good news is I didn't cry in the store. The bad news is I got in my car and I bawled my eyes out. Um, so they did recommend me to another computer place. Unfortunately, that computer place had just closed by the time I got out of Best Buy. So I've now been, I, I went home and worked on more cover designs because I was like, oh great, I'm, I'm gonna miss deadlines now. Like I've never, like when it comes to my cover designs, I pride myself on communication, not missing deadlines, and then of course having quality work. Okay, so before we continue on with like the in-person live reactions of me freaking out, um, I did want to sort some things out just with cover design, just so if any of my clients are, wa are watching this, you're not freaking out. Um, I was able to, like, all my cover design stuff was on that external hard drive. I did lose everything, but a lot of the stuff was backed up onto Dropbox. I actually forgot they were backed up to Dropbox, and you'll kind of see as this video progresses, you see me starting to remember where some other stuff was saved. Um... But I just wanted to pop in to be like, hey, if you're my cover design client and I'm designing your cover, don't freak out. Like, I've got things handled. You probably won't even notice. Fun fact, if you were my client for January or if I did any work for you in January, I probably did it twice. So, yay. Oh, I also wanted to say that I actually didn't miss any deadlines in January despite all of this happening. So, go me. Uh, time management skills and still have a clean record of not missing deadlines for my clients. When I think about it, the amount of material that was on there, like it was a two terabyte hard drive and it was almost filled up completely and now it's gone. And I don't know what the issue was. I don't know if it's because like the air in my house has been really staticky and when I like touch my computer it zaps me sometimes and I told that to my dad and my dad was like yeah that was the first time you, that was the first sign you should have backed it up um, so this is my own fault basically is what I'm getting at is that I was stupid and I didn't back up stuff um, yeah so my novels completely gone a lot of marketing materials completely gone the book launch planner all that's gone but that doesn't really affect too much um, because I did already send the files to the printer and if I email them I'm sure they can send me the PDF files and it will all be fine and dandy the bummer with that is that the PDF files I sent them are flat files um, so for those who know like graphic design sometimes when you save a PDF you can save it with the layers still um, so you can go back and edit them or you, of course, would also have the native files, whether that be InDesign, Photoshop, um, Illustrator, all of that. Um, so I sent them a flat PDF because when you print something, sometimes they won't have the same fonts I have. So I have to give them a flat PDF. So basically it's just an image. It's not interactable. Um, so they have the files. The planner's still going to print on time. Um, the real bummer is that I, I planned on recreating, or the real bummer is that I planned on republishing this planner every year and giving it updates and a facelift every year, adding new quotes from authors into the pages. Um, <clears throat> so basically what I'm getting at is that if I want to still plan on doing that and I'm not able to recover everything off of this hard drive, I will have to recreate the planner from scratch. <laughs> Um, and you guys, like, you don't, you, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about right now, but if you look at, like, if you go on the Book Launch Planner website, and you look at the planner pages, that's not even all of them. No, I didn't put all the planner pages on the website, but when you look through the pages, you realize it's not just words. There's, like, a lot of templates I spent a lot of hours creating, and... I'd have to recreate that from scratch if I want to put out an updated version of this planner. So what I'm getting at is that if I think about everything that's on this hard drive right now, it would take me months to recreate everything that's on there. Um, and I, I'm very upset about it. So I'm on my way to work again, 
I have a whole hour drive to think about what I've done. <laughs> I feel like I'm being punished. Um, so I'm gonna go to work. As soon as that computer store opens, I'm calling them up. I'm gonna ask them if this is something they can fix. I'm gonna let them know like it's powering on, but the computer's not detecting it. The hard, the external hard drive is like it's gone, it's shot, it's not salvageable. Like after all this, this that thing is going in the trash. Um, but from the people I've been talking to, who've had similar things happen to them, like my dad has something similar happen to his hard drive, uh, where like the fan wouldn't turn on, so it overheated, but he was still able to recover all the files from it. Um, so I think I should be able to recover the files. I just have to find the right person who can do it. And I'm at the point where I'm willing to spend a decent chunk of change to do that. Um, because I don't like missing deadlines, I don't like disappointing people, and I don't like rewriting a manuscript. <laughs> um, because that book, like, I was, I'm not gonna say the book was near finished, because it obviously wasn't. It had a ton of editing that needed to happen. There were scenes that probably needed to be deleted. There were scenes that needed to be, like, completely rewritten. But it wasn't bad to the point where I would have just trashed the whole manuscript. And that's basically what happened. Like, there were scenes I wrote yesterday that are gone now. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. This vlog is just you guys watching me panic. Um, maybe a little PSA to back up your files. I already spent, um, after I got home from Best Buy, went ahead, did some research on like cloud saving stuff on the cloud <laughs> um, and for now I'm gonna use OneDrive because OneDrive you can like install onto your desktop so you can kind of work on your desktop and automatically save stuff to your OneDrive if that makes any sense so I'm gonna tune out now I'm gonna listen to some happy music try to distract myself from what has happened so far and keep you guys updated. Apologies in advance for bad lighting because the sun is going down. I just got out of work. Um, I do have some updates. So, I called the computer store I'm heading to right now and I explained what happened and then they explained to me that the little sound I'm hearing might be the hard drive um, you know, scratching data and erasing it, so, yeah. Um, and they explain that basically when a hard drive makes that sound, they stop touching it because it does more damage to the data on the hard drive. It erases stuff. Um, so they explained that I can bring it in and they can look at it, but if it makes that sound, or if it makes the sound they think it's making, that I would, in order to recover it, would have to send it away. That would take a long time. It would be very expensive. I already know all this, and I've already decided that's not worth it. Um, so hung up the phone, cried a little, because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> and now I've come, like, I'm getting my mind used to the fact that all of that may be gone. Um, there is a bright side. The more I think about it, the more I realize there is some stuff saved in other places. I did find a version of my manuscript on Google Docs. Unfortunately, it's a version from earlier this summer, so a version that is months old, which means it only has 30,000 words, which means I lost more than half my manuscript, which is a bummer. Um, I've kind of come to the conclusion that that's basically what I'm, I'm dealing with right now. I've kind of made a list of things that I need to recover right away. And when I say recover, I mean recreate right away. Um, so stuff like the stuff I need for my YouTube channel. I made myself little templates just to make my life easier. Now my life is hard again and I have to remake all those templates. I have cover design clients and I've already made a plan to redesign all their covers like ASAP as in starting tonight when I get home. Um, 
and I'm hopefully me I'm hoping that means I won't miss any deadlines. Will I be more stressed than usual? Yep, I already am. Um, but I I am a stickler to deadlines, and I will be very upset if I miss it, especially because it's not my deadline. Well, technically it is, but I'm working with someone else, and that makes me upset when I miss a deadline I give someone else. So the good news is is that the major portion of the manuscript that has been erased is a portion of the manuscript that had to be rewritten anyways and I was texting Bethany about it and I, I we were kind of chatting and I was just like you know it's not the first time I've like stopped and rewritten a, a manuscript like not just edited like completely rewritten I did that for she's not here I started from scratch three times with she's not here however when I start something from scratch I prefer to have a choice in the matter um, I did not have a choice in the matter with this book I actually quite enjoyed the manuscript I had written so far because I had gone through and I had gone and done like a quick edit just reading things over making oh my god I just remembered okay so you guys might remember I spent 10 hours one day just reading through my book um, what I did during those 10 hours is that for every chapter I read, I wrote notes on the chapter. Like very specific, this is what happened during this chapter. So, I am happy, I just remember that I can rewrite it, rewrite it using that little outline I created for myself. Um, so, it's not that the book didn't have an outline before, the book had an outline, but it was more vague. Like this was a very specific this is what happened, these are the emotions that were happening, this character met this person, like, it was a very specific outline. So I have that at least. I am confident that this second time going in and rewriting, I will be, like, it, the results will be, be better, I'm more concrete, I know how the story works now, I won't be, like, thinking to myself, hmm, what happens next? I know what happens next. I have a very clear vision of this book. So I'll be able to rewrite it. However, I want to rewrite it in three weeks. Um, and I did the math on it, and it basically means I'm writing 50,000 words in three weeks. And then there was also another project I have a deadline for. Uh, Bethany and I have discussed, you know, getting the Marketing for Author series moving again. And I wanted to use February to write the first draft of the book that I was in charge of. And now I have to use February to rewrite the first draft of my own novel. Uh, so I still would like to meet the deadline of um, writing this Marketing for Authors book. Just because I really don't want this one stupid thing to screw up my like plans for the whole year. And I'm going to do everything in my power not to let it screw up my plans for the whole year. Um... So with that said, I might be writing 65,000 words in February. I'm not going to finish the first draft of the Marketing for Authors book, but I should be able to get like a decent chunk of it done. So yeah. And the reason why I only have three weeks in February to do it is because the last week of February I'll be in, um, I'll be on a boat on a cruise specifically for a writing retreat. Now while writing retreats are great, this specific writing retreat isn't like great for writing or at least I don't plan on using it for writing because it's more like workshops, mentoring, all that jazz. Um, there's keynote addresses every day. Uh, and besides that, I'm also going to be on a cruise ship in the Caribbean and I've never been to the Caribbean before. And I don't want to spend the entire time writing. I'm sorry, I want to enjoy a vacation. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get as much writing done beforehand. If I have to do some writing during the cruise, that's gonna happen regardless because it is a writing retreat. Um, but I'd rather, the writing re I'd rather the writing I do during the retreat be related to the retreat, not something I have to do alongside juggling projects so yeah so now maybe next time you see me I'll have an update from the computer store just left the computer store they explained exactly what happened basically just the act of placing my phone on the hard drive knocked something out of place 
and it went kaplooey. <laughs> uh, they said most likely the data on the hard drive is fine, but they cannot retrieve it. You have to send it out to this place in like California to retrieve it. It would take at least a month, probably longer, and it would be very expensive. Um, they gave me a flyer, so just out of curiosity, I'm gonna give this place a call and see what prices are, but right now, it's sounding like I'm rewriting my novel, because at the least, I cannot wait a month for my novel. Um, I'm hoping that I might do this just to recover my book launch planner files um, and also my photo files. Um, basically everything else isn't like time sensitive so it would be nice to have the non time sensitive stuff back. But yeah, so be very careful with your external hard drives. They're easy to break. I wanted to wrap up this video because it's been a few days now. Um, I did submit the hard drive to the company and basically what happened was they told me that on a scale of one to five in terms of damage, uh, it was a five, <laughs> which means it will be very hard to fix. Um, and it's mechanical damage. So they were like, most of the stuff on there is probably retrievable, which is awesome. They also let me know that Complex files like Photoshop files, InDesign, and Illustrator files are harder to retrieve because they're complex, so it's not necessarily guaranteed that they'll retrieve it. Uh, they did let me know that I only would have to pay if they retrieve the files that I needed, which is awesome. So great customer service. They've been really good to work with. They've been really fast. Um, bad news is is that on the lowest end like the cheapest possible outcome it would cost me one thousand nine hundred and something dollars on the higher end uh it would be two thousand three hundred and something dollars uh so yeah i can't remember the exact numbers but it's in the thousands of dollars and if you're wondering that's my cat in the back i don't know if you can see him but um so it's obviously very expensive and there's, uh, it's just, it's expensive. It's not worth it. I'm redoing everything. I have it somewhat figured out. For those of you who are like, wow, you're doing really well handling this. I'm not. <laughs> um, I've spent many days stressing out over this and now my cat wants to be let out of the office. So I'll be right back. I do want to say a quick little thing. With all my heart, I say thank you to everyone who's been giving me suggestions, but I will let you know it like hardcore stresses me out when people try to tell me like oh you can fix it this way you can fix it that way guys I've literally spent hours trying to figure out how to fix this I've seen a lot of like I brought this hard drive to a lot of professional people um they're all telling me the same thing and as helpful as you guys think you are being and I appreciate your help it's I just want you to know it stresses me out so if I don't respond to you it's just because I'm stressed out. I spent an entire day basically feeling like I was shaking on the verge of tears because I just had so much on my to-do list and I'm getting there. I'm going to rewrite everything. I'm going to redo everything. It'll be fine. I just, I know you guys want to help recover it, but it's really, it's, it's gone. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I want to end this on a little bit of a lighter note. I'm doing okay, uh, rewriting things. It's not the end of the world. And just thank you for watching this video. And yes, I'm aware I'm an idiot for not backing everything up. So yeah, uh, lesson learned. I'll see you guys next week.